This is a sign to lock your hair. So if you've been looking for one, this is it, sis. Do it. Go ahead and get locked up. This is your sign, girl. Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jazz. Thank you so much for finding my channel, finding this video, however way you were able to find this video. I'm so thankful. Again, thank you for joining me. Um, if you like my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That would be much, much appreciated. And if you are not new here, welcome back. Welcome back, girl. Hey, hey. Um, if you watch my videos and you have yet to subscribe, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button again. I would be so appreciative. Thank you guys so much. So I am back again with another micro lock video. Um, in today's video, I just kind of wanted to, um, like you saw in the intro, I just wanted to make a video um, for all those girls, um, guys, if you watch my video as well, who are thinking of locking your hair, but you're just not sure. Um, when I first was thinking about starting locks, I watched video after video after video um, on YouTube, and that's really what um, really... Um, gave me the push that I needed to go ahead and get locked so I just wanted to create a video that really is just coming out and saying hey if you're thinking about it you should definitely do it so this is what this video is going to be it's just going to be me discussing on pretty much why you should just lock your hair go ahead and do it if you're thinking about it as of tomorrow I will be 10 months locked um, so that's when I first established my micro locks um, 10 months ago um, I started with two strand twists and um, like I said, I watched video after video after video trying to convince myself that this was the right decision and I finally made the decision to do so. Um, so if you're watching this video, I really hope that it kind of encourages you and pushes you to go ahead and make that step. I was a little nervous, I was a little scared too, but I can easily say that this is the best decision that I've made for my hair. Um, besides probably quitting relaxers, Getting locked has definitely been the best decision that I've made for my hair so far. Um, so if you're thinking about it, again, go ahead and do it. Um, now just as a disclaimer and to be as transparent as possible, like I always strive to do, this journey has not been all rainbows and butterflies. I've loved it. Um, like I said, it's the best decision that I've ever made for my hair, but it has not been perfect. Um, your lock journey will not be perfect. You're not gonna love your hair every second of every day. You will go through an awkward phase more than likely. I am I would say that I'm in my awkward phase right now. Um, kind of like not fully locked, but starting to lock. So my hair just kind of does what it wants. It has a mind of its own. Um, and I can definitely say that I can't wait to be fully mature. I can't wait till my hair fully matures, but I just know that it's a process. So before you do it, just please understand that the locking process is just that it's a process. It takes time, it takes patience. It's a thousand percent worth it from my experience thus far, but just know that it's not always gonna be easy and you really do have to be patient. Now, with that being said, this is not a video talking about all the cons or negative things that you're going to come in contact with on your journey. Um, if you want a video that's really going to go into the struggles of uh, micro locks, then that's definitely a video that I can make uh, maybe next. Maybe I'll make that video next. But this is going to be all about the good stuff. So one amazing thing that I can say about locks is they are gorgeous, as you probably have seen. Um, locks are absolutely beautiful. Um, it's amazing because I have never seen two sets of locks that look exactly the same. Um, it's all unique, but I can also say that I have never seen an ugly set of locks. I really can't say that I have. Um, unless they're just locks that have not been taken care of or maintained in the slightest. Um, they're going to be beautiful. So I definitely think it's a great decision aesthetics wise. Um, locks are beautiful you're gonna look bomb sis i know you are i don't really think that being worried about whether or not they're going to look good on you is a problem i also think don't think that you really need to be concerned whether or not you have the right kind of hair that can be locked um i really think all natural naturally curly hair 
can be locked and it can look good. So I really do think that if you take care of your hair, then you know, you're pretty much guaranteed a beautiful set of locks. If you just give it the time, if you, you know, have the patience, like I said, you're gonna go through an awkward phase more than likely. If you can just push through that awkward phase, then it really is gonna work out for the best. So I really don't think that, you know, you should be really be worried about whether or not it's gonna look good or whether or not they'll be nice or pretty because I can probably almost guarantee you that they will be. If you can have the patience to get through that awkward phase, then you will be a good girl. And during the awkward phase, buy a wig. I have a wig that I wear on days that my hair is not cooperating. Buy head wraps, wrap your locks on up, and you'll be fine. I've also heard people being kind of hesitant about getting locks because they're afraid that they'll miss their hair. Now, I can't necessarily tell you what you will or won't feel for your loose natural hair after you lock up. In my personal experience, I will say that no, I don't really miss my hair. Sometimes I'll go back and look at old pictures of my loose natural hair and I'll miss it for like two seconds, but then I think about all the maintenance, all the time, all the effort, all that stuff that I had to go through to get my hair to look like that. And even sometimes when I did put in all that work, it still didn't turn out right. So I think about that and I don't really miss it for real. So will, will you miss your hair? You might, but what I will say is that before you walk up your hair, I would definitely probably get that last silk press, get that last set of box braids, whatever style that you really love to wear your loose natural hair in it, go ahead and get it out of your system before. I would say I made the mistake of not doing that. Um, I did have a set of box braids not too long before I decided to lock, but I will say that I wish that I would have gotten a silk press um, right before, just because I never really got to experience my straight hair one more time. Because um, it had been a while since I'd had my hair straightened before I locked. So I really didn't get to enjoy that one more time. Um, so I will say like if there's just one particular style that you're really attached to and you really love, go ahead and get it out of your system right before you lock just so you can say that you did it that one last time and then go ahead and lock up. Um, and I will say that depending on how you maintain your hair, depending on how you start your locks, you might be able to like take it down. So say that if you do do like, um, if you do start your hair with two strand twists, um, you probably have a little bit of time there where you can undo those two strand twists depending on whatever method you use to maintain. And by that I just mean if you do interlocking, um, which is when like you use the tool and kind of like pretty much knot your hair in on itself to maintain the locks, you really can't undo those. But if you decide to do the palm roll method um, instead of interlocking, you probably have some time where you'll be able to undo your hair under your locks maybe two, three, four, maybe five months in, just depending on how long your hair takes to start the locking process. You can undo it so if you get you know a few months in and you're like i'm really not feeling this you can't undo your hair without having to cut off all your hair um so i think that if you decide to maintain it that way then there's little to no risk um for the first couple months um i would definitely say go ahead and just at least try it if you're not 100 percent sold um but what i can probably um really say is that that's all that it's gonna take for you to be like, okay, I'm leaving my hair locked. I don't even need to take it down. A couple months is probably all that you need to see to make that decision that you're, you'll just be ready to, to stay locked up. Um, so I will say that. And I can just not stress enough how amazing it is um, with how low maintenance locks are. Locks are so low maintenance. So if you're a four type girl like me, like I said earlier, you probably, had to do so much work to maintain your hair um with locks it is so easy and i cannot stress that enough i cannot stress it enough the maintenance is so easy now i will say that when you're like doing like your um, maintenance as far as like uh, maintaining the new growth that is probably the most time that you're going to have to put into maintaining your hair depending on what method you do um but the day-to-day -day maintenance is it can be so simple if you choose for it to be. Um, so I cannot stress how amazing that is. It is so amazing. 
Um, and if you are a four type um, loose natural girl, then I cannot stress the like the ease of maintenance of locks enough. It will be night and day. And that alone, I think, will be enough um, for you to really just decide to stay locked. Now for my type three girls, I really can't speak for you as much. Um, I do have like small areas of 3C in my hair, but overall I'm like a 4A, 4B type girl. So I really can't attest to what your hair will be like when you lock it. I really can't say. Um, I don't know how much maintenance that you put in for your hair if you're a type 3 girl. Now I know of course you probably do put in a lot of work, but as for type 4 girls, the amount of maintenance that we had to put in, detangling, all that stuff locks is the way to go <laughs> so i can say that for for sure so if you are also just kind of nervous because you don't know how to take care of locks um i would definitely say that getting a loctician might be a good option for you now for me and for so many other girls on youtube um i'm a do-it-yourself kind of girl i started my hair and i maintain my hair myself it saves me money um and i just really would rather have control over how I do my hair um, so I'm deciding to take control and take care of my hair myself and maintain it myself now at some point in time I might decide to go to a loctician I don't know for sure maybe when I get it colored I'll go to um, a professional stylist to get it colored haven't made that decision yet for sure but if you are someone that just feels like you can't maintain your hair which if you tried I bet you probably could because it's easier than you think it is um, but if you are just ad adamant about not wanting to take care of your hair yourself, you can always go to a loctician. Um, now, yes, it's going to cost money, but as a loose natural hair, if you're not taking care of your hair, if you're already going to, you know, a stylist for protective styles, for blowouts, for styles, whatever you go to your hairstylist for, then, I mean, the cost is probably the same. Now, I will say for getting your locks established, depending on what type of locks you get. If you get sister locks or if you get micro locks, it's usually pretty pricey to get them established, which is why I decided to do it myself. But again, if you were already spending money on your hair already, then you could just, instead of going to your natural hair stylist, you could just go to a loctician. Um, it's probably the same amount of investment, depending on how much you spend on your hair. Um, but again, it's definitely something that you can do yourself. Um, so YouTube has thousands and thousands and thousands literally of videos where you can learn and that's how I learned and that's how most of other um, women with locks on YouTube learned by watching other women's videos. So it's, it's definitely something that you can maintain yourself. Um, it's a little intimidating at first because I was intimidated when I first started maintaining my locks, but it's definitely something that you can do. Um, so don't discredit yourself, girl. I'm sure that you can learn it. So the bottom line is basically get locked up, girl. Like, what are you waiting for? Um, like I said, I watched video after video after video to convince myself. Um, so I know that you're probably on YouTube looking for a video that's going to make you feel like okay this is the right decision for me hopefully this is one of those videos for me personally it took multiple videos for me to finally make that commitment um so i just wanted to make a video specifically for the ladies that are kind of like juggling the idea of you know staying loose a loose natural or locking up and yeah i just really wanted to encourage you to go ahead and do it it's gonna work out um it's not always going to be perfect, but I can definitely, from experience, say that if you're seriously thinking about it and it's been on your mind for a while now, you probably really want to do it. And if you really want to do it, then just go ahead and do it. So again, I really think that this is going to be one of the best decisions that you make for your hair. Um, if it's not, then it's not. Like I said, depending on how you maintain your hair and how you start your hair, you're going to have a small period, a small window of time where you can like undo them. So if it gets to that point in time where you decide that if you really just don't want to do it, just undo them. Um, if you get a little further where it's going to be harder to undo your hair, you could cut your hair off. <laughs> and of course, no one, most people don't really want to hear that. 
Um, but if you were looking for a change in your hair, then there you go. You, you, you cut your hair and you can start over. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so I would say 100% take the risk. I can almost guarantee you that it's going to pay off and it doesn't pay off. Then, you know, you just, you now know for sure that locks aren't for you. So either way, it's going to work out in your favor. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap it up right here. Um, if anybody has any questions or anything at all, definitely leave them in the comments. Um, if you have any video suggestions for me about what you want to see me talk about when it comes to my hair or anything else, um, definitely leave them in the comments. Um, thank you so much for joining me in this video today. Again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification button, all that good stuff. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well at Jazz So Strong. And